Hello everybody, my name is Master Rolfus, I'm here to teach you guys how to utilize the air transport, otherwise known as the Pelican, in a planetary annihilation. So first and foremost, how do you actually load up a unit onto the Pelican? Well, you have to build the Pelican, then afterwards build a unit. Then, what you do is you left click on top of the unit, and then you right click on the Pelican that you want your unit to be in. The unit will automatically go to the Pelican and will load itself inside. Then afterwards, you move the Pelican onto the location in which you want to drop off your unit that's inside the Pelican. And there will be, while your Pelican is selected, a toolbar on the right side of your monitor. And there should be a symbol that looks kind of like an envelope, a triangle with a rectangle around it. If you left click on that symbol while your pelican is selected with your unit inside that pelican, then you could right click on the ground and drop off your unit. So that's all fine and dandy with fairing your units from one place to another with the pelican. So what about performing an airdrop? Now airdrops are a little bit risky as they do run the risk of being shot down by hummingbirds, stingers, and a whole slew of different types of AA units. So in order to actually pull off a successful airdrop one must realize the location of where he's airdropping into as well as the time at which the airdrop is being taken place if you're airdropping 20 minutes 40 minutes into his highly secured base with a bunch of flak cannons your shit is going to blow up but if you're attacking a newly colonized territory like a planet or heck even four minutes into the game then you're probably gonna do fine just try to micro as much as you can so that's the timing issue and then it comes the units you won't want to actually drop off doxes at your opponent's base as they do very little damage and same with ants the units you want to drop off would be vanguards or infernos and maybe gillies a little bit vanguards and infernos because they destroy structures giant globs of units and commanders like butter on top of a i don't know a boiler Whereas a ghillie might be useful for dropping them off at a distant area and then slowly picking away at your opponent's base, destroying high value targets like advanced energy plants or maybe even nuclear missile silos that people are just leaving out in the middle of nowhere. And those are basically the uh, three different types of units you can utilize. All other units, they either do too little damage or they're most useful in a swarm, not in a sort of ragtag strike team sort of environment they don't have either as much tank power as the infernos or the vanguards or they don't have the range like the ghillies do anyway that's pretty much about it and if you guys actually want to try and rush your opponents with a successful airdrop what you can do is start off with this build i start with a mechs energy plant mechs again then i get an air factory out build two pelicans then I go for another energy plant, and then afterwards I go for the vehicle factory, get the two infernos, and then send the infernos off into the distance and destroy anything I see. But you guys can make any type of variations out of this build whatsoever. My way is definitely not the right way, even though I believe it is. And that's basically all you need to know about pelicans, as well as air transports. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.